This is the second oldest building in Hopkins. Wow. The oldest building is next door. 1884, we're 1886. Nice. So before we freeze, let's walk on into... Um, we're walking in. Bongos and Buds music, and please Whoa. keep your hands inside the ride. Look at that. Dolly, do you want to tell us about the drum mastery contest? No? Okay. John, tell me a little bit about, you know, which Sure mics you like to use on your drums. Well, um, I grew up using SM57s on everything, uh, 98s for overheads. I have a Beta 58, one of the first microphones that uh, I believe Sure put out on the Beta series that I still use to this day, oh. even though I wouldn't recommend getting your nose too close to the windscreen. <laughs> um, I've thought about getting a new windscreen, but that's probably not gonna happen for a while because I am buying dog food for Dolly. My, uh, my second in command, Dolly. What are you eating? Your toes? Dolly's the uh, shop queen. Hi, babe. Let's talk about this thing. This this thing. This deal right here. Um, can I turn it? <coughs> just go lengthwise here. Wow. Did you go vertical? I, I went vertical. You went vertical. <laughs> um, little does anyone know. There was a guy from Minnesota that wrote a lot of songs. He also made a movie, and uh, there's there's a guy standing holding the camera that knows about the movie a little more than I do. But that photo right there shows the bass guitar that the cloud guitar, the movie star, the stunt double, and this is number three in, in production, the original bass guitar that was purchased by Andre Simone that... Prince actually took and used as his prototype for the guitar because they needed a special thing for the movie. So Barry took over the manufacturing of those guitars after Dave Rasson, the master builder these days of those guitars. Uh, after he left for Europe, Barry took over and he built uh, number three through six or seven of those guitars. Just the more bridges on the thin You can adjust the height of it. 